Hello, welcome to the Trimble Ag's YouTube channel. This video will cover everything about freeform guidance, including what freeform guidance is, why a user would want to utilize freeform guidance, and how to actually use freeform guidance on a precision IQ display. Freeform guidance is included with the base PIQ firmware and has the same functionality as the previous legacy displays. Freeform is a task-based guidance feature that's prime uses for rolling terrain in irregularly shaped fields, where basic or advanced field guidance would not work or would be too complex for the operators to follow. In a field like this, it would be nearly impossible to use basic or advanced field guidance. This would require shuffling through many recorded basic guidance lines. With Freeform, each succeeding pass is based on the previous pass, meaning that if you drive and have to steer irregularly, the following pass will account for the irregular turn, allowing you to still use guidance while completing the task. Because of this, Freeform is usually used in broad acre applications due to not having to follow a specific row in follow-up applications. Again, Freeform guidance is a task-based guidance and cannot be used with other operation or tasks. To do that, we would recommend learning about how to record feature line sets while completing tasks. Freeform guidance lines is also specific to the display it is recorded on. Freeform guidance lines for a field will not be available on another display, even if it is the same task. In other words, freeform is specific to the display and task. Freeform guidance makes the impossible fields possible to farm. It is important for farmers to utilize the max amount of their land towards production of crops. Sharp turning terraces, rolling terrain, in irregularly shaped fields are possible to farm with the adaptive guidance of freeform. We will now demonstrate how to use freeform. No system set of vehicle or implement configuration is required. Simply select the task you are completing on the PIQ home screen, enter the run screen within the field you are completing the task, and you are ready to use freeform. On the run screen, go to the guidance editor drawer. A helpful PIQ tip is that when you're only using certain guidance tools, you can go into the guidance editor drawer settings and enable features that you use and disable features that you do not. This can keep your guidance editor drawer organized and prevent confusion for other operators. You can also drag and drop features in the drawer to further optimize your workflow. In the guidance editor drawer, expand the freeform section. Toggle the enable switch to be able to use freeform guidance. This puts you into task guidance mode, meaning everything that is done while freeform is enabled is saved in task guidance, not field guidance. You are not able to perform basic or advanced guidance, as well as traditional swath swapper, while freeform is enabled. As you can see in the guidance library, freeform guidance patterns and traditional guidance patterns are saved in two different libraries. Further on this, freeform lines are specific to the display that they are recorded on and will not auto sync to the cloud. Freeform is both task and display specific. If for some reason you enable freeform guidance or task-based guidance and want to go back to the traditional field-based guidance, such as basic guidance, it will automatically disable freeform and switch saving data back to the field-based guidance library. If you would like to go back to using freeform, you have to manually toggle the enable switch in the freeform dropdown. To create an AB line, tap the AB line button. Freeform AB lines act much like basic guidance. However, this is task-based guidance. Freeform AB lines are meant to only be used during the completion of the task. This is meant for it to be easier for the user to use freeform AB lines rather than switching back to basic guidance for a straight portion of the field and using traditional AB lines. Field-based AB lines will always be available while using basic guidance functions. Tap A to set point A, drive a short distance, then tap B to set point B. Tap save to generate the AB line. This is now saved in task-based guidance library. Freeform curve is the value of freeform guidance. Each succeeding guidance line is based on the previous line, essentially adapting to every circumstance you come across in the field. This feature is invaluable for farmers farming terraces or irregularly shaped fields. Select freeform curve. After selecting freeform curve, you can select the recording type you'd like to use. Manual is a recording type to adapt for the next pass while recording is on. A recording indicator is shown on the run screen for any guidance recording type. 
There is also a recording on off button at the top. When this is pressed, recording is either started or stopped. This allows you to close the freeform dropdown or guidance editor drawer to perform other tasks. If you leave the run screen, a light indicator will be present on the run screen tab to make sure you do not forget that you're recording. The next recording option might differ depending on your implement type. If your implement is coverage type, such as tillage equipment, then the option will say with coverage. If your implement is applying material, such as a sprayer or spreader, then the option will be with material. The two options act very similar. However, with material recording does not respond to overlap coverage. If you're recording in with material mode and go over a section that has already been applied with material, application control turns off application, but freeform guidance will still be recording the guidance line. This means that for the next pass, the vehicle will follow the guidance line, even though the area has already been applied with material. This is something to keep in mind when using with material recording type. If you have automated guidance, you will have while engaged as a recording option. As you're engaged on the guidance line, it will be recording for the next pass. As soon as you disengage from the guidance line, recording will stop until re-engaged. However, Doing this creates a gap in your recording for the next guidance line. During your next pass, you will be kicked off the guidance line due to the gap in guidance recording. If you keep on the same known heading, it might re-engage if the gap is small enough. These different recording modes can be mixed and matched to best fit the user's needs. Say the first round the user records the guidance line using manual recording. If after the first round the field does not change much, the farmer can stop recording and then switch to while engaged recording to stay on the same pattern for a while. The same goes for with material recording type as well. When switching modes, the user must stop recording completely to be able to switch recording mode. With auto U-turn detection, guidance lines can be ended when precision IQ detects a U-turn. However, this might not be a very clean exit tail like stopping recording would be. U-turn detection is based on heading and estimation on where the vehicle started to turn. This might create a segment that is skewed in your guidance line. When re-engaging on the line for the next pass, it might be abrupt on the vehicle to follow the skewed segment. Freeform Swath Swapper allows you to switch between recorded freeform AB lines and freeform curves. This is the freeform version of Swath Swapper and is active when freeform is enabled. In this video, we covered what freeform guidance is, why a farmer would find freeform guidance valuable, and how to use freeform guidance on a precision IQ display. Thanks for watching and check out Trimble Ag's YouTube channel for more tutorial videos.